Hi, <clears throat> this is Rebecca Platt with Kingdom Keto again. I thought I would do something a little different today. I am in my woman cave, or as my husband calls it, the keto cave. And I am going to get ready for my day. I'm going to put my makeup on. I'm not going to go full glam today, just, um, just something that won't scare the children when I go outside the house. <laughs> so, um... While I'm doing that, I wanted to talk a little bit about a keto topic that I feel is, um, it's pretty needed because people think when they see the before and afters of other people's keto transformation that it happens instantaneously and it doesn't. It takes time. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today while I get ready. First thing I'm going to start out with is some primer by Wet n Wild. So I wanted to <clears throat> dive right into the topic of give it time. Give keto time to do its work. It's not going to be an overnight transformation. I fell into that mentality when I was first researching keto. And I would see all of these awesome before and afters. And a lot of times people don't post the timeline between when they started and you know the last picture that they took and it's easy when you go online and look at before and afters to see like in a in a second they've gone from looking one way to looking another and something happens in your mind where you think oh gosh this keto thing it's you know an overnight fix and it's not um <clears throat> Com common sense, you know it's not going to be overnight, but something about looking at those before and afters, you start getting this idea that it's going to happen a lot quicker than it really does. And so don't fall into that trap. This is Wet n Wild Cushion, and I just use it for days when I don't want to wear a whole lot of makeup, but I need to cover up stuff. So my mirror is actually over here, so I'll probably be looking at that more. But um, yeah, it's going to take time. And the way that when I'm coaching people <clears throat> through Facebook or instant message or text when they contact me about you know how I got started and all of that, and they they immediately want to know how long it's going to take. And I have to tell them that starting out on on keto is going to take some time before you start seeing results on the scale. You will feel results in your clothes and how you feel before you'll see numbers dropping on the scale. So there's a little analogy that I use to explain that. And what I say is it's like a factory going from producing candles to chairs. So what would it look like if a factory, a company, is producing candles? So when you think about candles, there's wax, there's glass jars, there's wicks, there's scents, there's all of these things that go into candle making. And the processes and the employees and the equipment, it's going to be for strictly candle making. But if that owner decides, I want to start producing chairs, I want to switch my business up and I want to make chairs. So what's going to happen? They're going to need to change pretty much everything about their business model. They have to go from buying glass jars and wax and scents to buying wood and metal and their equipment is going to change. They're going to have to go from um, melting wax to forging metal and, and welding and things like that. So everything changes when you change the factory or when you change um, the goal of what you're doing in your business. So in keto, you would change your equipment from being a carb burning machine to a fat burning machine. So that's not going to take overnight, right? Just like it wouldn't in a factory. The person who decides, I want to go from making candles to making chairs, 
has to change all of his equipment. He has to get new employees or he has to tra tra new, new, newly train the ones that he has. And he is going to have to um, order new products, new processes. Everything is going to change. That's going to take time. He didn't just wake up one morning from making candles to making chairs and walk into his new factory and be producing chairs. Like a lot of things have to change. And that's what's going to happen in your body when you're switching from a carb burning machine to a keto burning machine or to the ketogenic diet. You are, your, your body is having to reconstruct new equipment in order to accommodate the, the influx of fat that you're now taking in instead of all the carbs. And I've explained before how carbs are really easy for the body to burn. Fats takes a little bit more time and a little bit more effort, but that's what burns the calories and that's what gives us the energy and the focus and all of that. So this is um, Catrice Liquid Camouflage. This is the best drugstore concealer I've found. And it's cheap and it's like comparable to Tarte. So anyway, Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to put some of this on because I have allergy shiners from making a table yesterday. <laughs> Inhaling all that wood was not good. So I'm using an e.l.f. large shadow brush with a little bit of the taper to blend that in. So I wanted to encourage you that um, going from a carb burning machine to a fat burning machine is not going to take an overnight process. It takes a while for your body to reconstruct all of those processes and employees, if you will, to accommodate a new supply that you're bringing in. And the new supply that you're bringing in is fats. And so your body is going to have to adjust to that and make new equipment and adjust the metabolic system that it's been running on to something new. And that took me a while. I mean, I'm 43 years old. So my body was kind of like, what, what are you doing? It took a while to figure out, oh, okay, she wants to be in ketosis, which is what we've never been, we've never done that before. So there was an, an adjustment period. And it took about two to three weeks for me to reach that full-on ketosis place where I felt like I was burning fat and things were changing and I felt different. So the next thing I'm going to use here is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I took the top of it off and I use a, a Velour Puff. And it just really mattifies everything down. I just love how this works. But um, I just wanted to encourage you in that it's, it's not going to be an overnight process. It's going to take a little bit of time. You're not going to wake up and be a size 6 the day after you start keto. It's going to take a little bit. And common sense, we know that. But we get so anxious to see changes and to fit into smaller genes and to see that process and if we don't see it right away we start getting discouraged and we want to quit we want to throw in the towel we just want to go get a snickers bar and a coke and just comfort ourselves <laughs> i know i've been there but i i didn't give in and i pushed through and in doing my research which i i definitely advise you doing this blush is so cute it's um l'oreal true match in baby blossom and this wet and wild blush brush is the best it makes it look so airbrushed on your face so anyway I don't even know where I was <laughs> don't expect an overnight change it's it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit don't get discouraged and jump ship before you've had a chance to experience what it's like to be in ketosis and when I, that's what I was saying when I did my research I read you know what it's gonna take and how long it's gonna take and what you might encounter and all of those things and I anticipated all of that <clears throat> and that's what helped me push through is knowing okay other everybody else is saying maybe a month maybe three weeks maybe two weeks so I've got to push to at least that long in order to see a change so I encourage you to stay in that process. Don't jump ship before it's had a chance to work because once you start gorging on carbs again, 
you've reversed everything that you just tried to do with getting into ketosis. So stick with it. Don't give up. Hang in there. It will work. Trust the process. This is e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and a little stick. And then on the other end, it has a um, eyeliner thing, which I hardly ever use. But this primer makes my eyeshadow stay on all day. I just love it. Now this isn't a beauty video, but I know people are going to ask, what are you using? <laughs> so it's e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, and you just smooth it over your eyelids, and it makes your eye shadow stay a lot longer. It's only at like $3 at the drugstore. I love it. <clears throat> so trust the process. Don't give up. Keep your carbs to um, 20 grams or less per day. I'm using for my eyeshadow the Burgundy Bar by Maybelline and it has all of these beautiful colors in it. Can you see that? Oh, I just love it. So I'm going to go into this white right here and do an all over fluff. Oh, and this is Morphe E E27 fluffy brush. So yes, trust the process. Don't jump ship. Stay with it and you will start seeing the results that you want to see. I promise you. Uh, it may take you a little longer than other people, but don't compare your results to other people. That's that's a biggie too. Um, when you go in and see those before and afters or when people are posting, you know, they dropped 10 pounds in a week and all this other stuff. That was probably a man that posted that. <laughs> Women do not have the same metabolism as men. So when men decide to cut back a little bit, they drop weight like crazy, and it's not fair, but that's how it goes. So, but you can't compare your progress to other people's. And I, I fell into that trap, too. I was like, I'm obviously doing something wrong. Even though I was following it to the letter, I must be doing something wrong because I'm <clears throat> not seeing the results that other people are seeing so soon. Well, those were 20-year-olds, or they were men. And of course, they're going to see results a lot sooner than a 43-year-old mom with a sedentary job. I mean, of course, you have to approach this with a, a lot of common sense. It's very much a common sense diet, and it's a very much uh, listen to your body and know what works for you kind of diet as well. I hate to say diet because I feel like my body just goes, diet, <laughs> what are you doing? No. So I like to say lifestyle or journey, and I know that's cliche sometimes I wish I could find better words and maybe I will but um, don't compare your progress to other people's it's it's gonna be different for everybody you have to find what works for you and you just have to trust the process and that's why I also gave that advice on my Facebook page to throw yourself into other things while you're doing keto whether it be taking a class I'm going to go into this little light brown shade up here and do a little bit in the crease. Um, throw yourself into something else while you're doing keto so that you're not obsessing about losing weight because that raises the cortisol in the body and cortisol blocks fat burning and that we don't want that. So don't stress and obsess about losing weight and seeing numbers go down on the scale, throw yourself into something else, write a book, uh, take up walking around in your neighborhood, take up photography, take a class, take a dance class. Um, I was finishing up my master's program in education, so I had that to, to focus on, and I found that when I had a distraction and I wasn't just totally obsessing about keto and what I was eating and my progress and my numbers I would forget to weigh sometimes and I would go in the bathroom to take a shower and I'd step on the scale and wow I had dropped three pounds since the last time I checked and that was a nice surprise and I thought well gosh when did this happen it happened when I was thinking about other things doing other things and I wasn't obsessing and getting stressed over weight loss, which I had done in the past before, and I was starting to put the pieces together and being like, okay, so, you know, this is what I did before that didn't work because none of the pounds went away because I stressed about it too much. So 
take it easy, find something else to throw yourself into, um, start journaling, like journal your, your progress and how you're feeling. Get, get all of those feelings out on paper, all of your frustration or all of your elation because you're doing so well, which I know you will. So go ahead and start that journal because you're going to have positive pages in there. I know mine does. Mine has a lot of positive pages. Um, I'm going to take this purple right here on my finger and just kind of dab it in the corner. So give it time. Don't stress or obsess. Take into consideration your age, your gender, medications you might be on, and understand that you're not a computer. <laughs> you can't just unplug and plug back in and have a system reset immediately. Like it's going to take a little time. Your system reset is going to take probably about a month if I'm being honest. And maybe that seems like a long time. But honestly, look at all the time that you've been overweight and miserable and wanted to change. Probably years, right? That's a long time. A month to let your body reset and build a new factory to burn fat the way you want it to. Oh, it's so pretty. I love purple in my eyes. Um, give your time. Give your body time to make those adjustments. You're not. You're not a computer. You're gonna have to reset. It, your reset's gonna take a lot longer than just unplugging and plugging back in an iPod or a MacBook. It's gonna take some time. So don't get discouraged. Trust the process. You can do this. I believe in you. And. I look forward to hearing all of the testimonials either on my Facebook page or in here. I mean, leave comments down below. Leave your prayer requests down below. I love to pray for people. Wherever you're struggling, tell me. We'll take it to the Lord. We'll take it to Jesus. And he gives us the strength and he gives us encouragement and he brings scripture to mind that encourages us and I think that's enough mascara for today I don't want to go <laughs> too crazy this is Vol voluminous lash paradise I love that stuff it's so good and this is called mystic black I don't really need it to be mystic I just need it to be black all right I think that's all I have for you today I'm done getting ready I got to do something with my mop my grandpa used to call it that, his wool or his mop. I gotta do something with this. And then I'm ready to go to Harbor Freight and get a belt sander to take some roughness off of my new farmhouse table that we just finished yesterday. So I'm looking forward to that and stick with it. Hang in there. It's gonna take some time, but you can do this. I believe in you and I'll see you in my next video. Leave your prayer request below, tell me how you're doing, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye!